new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you what are you doing you're supposed to de-escalate how is this de-escalating how the is this de-escalating dog what are you doing what's your badge number badge number what are you doing? What are you doing? Why is he under arrest? Why is he under arrest? He did nothing. He did nothing for this. Why did you put your hands on me? How? 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 From what? From what? From what? Watching that, watching that cart's not enough for you? Watching that shopping cart's not enough for you? No, you escalated the situation. You escalated the situation and you made this happen. It's clear. It's clear as day. You escalated the situation. It's two people having a conversation with each other and you decided to escalate the situation by shoving him. So if, so if they don't if they don't kiss the ring, they're arrested. If they don't kiss the ring, they're arrested. Basically, right? If they don't kiss the ring, they're arrested. They're arrested. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. All I see is you keep your hands off me. That's all I do. Opposite. That's the, you, it's you're not de-escalating. You gotta keep your hands off of him. What is going on between you? It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Nothing happened? No. Nothing happened. Did he pay for his stuff? Yes. No, put your hands on me. We're gonna go talk outside. You pay for your stuff. Nothing happened. You don't put your hands on those damn kids. You don't do that. And this is what we have so far. An Instagram video is bringing attention to a Minneapolis police officer arrest of a 64 year old black man at a grocery store Wednesday evening in the Ventura Village neighborhood. In the almost five minute video, Officer Christopher Lang is seen aggressively grabbing Troy Lee Billups and pushing him onto the ground in an attempt to arrest him around 6.05 p.m. near the wall along the entrance slash exit inside of an Aldi's at 1311 Franklin Avenue in Minneapolis. The person recording the video was heard telling Officer Lang that it was two people having a conversation together and you decided to escalate the situation by shoving him. During the ruckus, a young man is heard telling the person recording the video that Billups was harassing my girl. So I told him, yo, chill out. And the cop came over here and started touching me and then it went inaudible at that moment. After some struggle, Lang let go of Billups and asked what was going on between the young man and Billups. The young man replied, nothing happened. Lang then asked, did he pay for his stuff when pointing at Billups? Billups and the others are heard on video responding yes. About two and a half minutes to the video, the conversation moved outside of the grocery store. Lang and another Minneapolis police officer were questioning Billups, who explained to the officers that him and the young man were talking and not fighting. After Lang arrested Billups and started walking him to the squad car, Billups was booked for obstruction, legal process with force, according to the Minneapolis Police Department. He has since been released without bail with an order to stay away from the Franklin Avenue Aldi. Minneapolis police stated that the matter is being evaluated by the Office of Police Conduct Review. Quote, department policy and training continues to emphasize the importance of de-escalation efforts to stabilize and resolve situations when safe and feasible. I'm right here, I'm right here. You 
We weren't fighting. We was talking. We weren't pushing. We didn't touch each other. Only I just said, don't put your hands on. You cannot put your hands on. No, you can't. Not without just reason. I didn't cuss at you. I didn't officer, you. officer, come on. Come on. You 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 literally escalated the situation. They were talking to each other. No pushing happened until you pushed them. No one pushed anything until you pushed them. I was standing right there. No one pushed anyone until you pushed them, officer. Come on. No. You know, man, what's wrong with you? Hey, bro, what's your name? Tell me your name. Yeah. Lee, Troy Lee Phillips. Troy Lee Phillips? Yes. Spell your last name for me. B-I-L-L-U-P-S. What are you arresting me for? For what? I didn't That's do that. That's Officer K. Lang, Officer, I believe. I didn't do that. All I did is tell him don't touch the kid. Back up. Now they're in the field because they're typing you up. I didn't do nothing. And you know I didn't do nothing. That officer, Officer K. Lang, right there. Officer Lang, right there. Escalated the situation. Officer Lang escalated the situation. Those, this man was having a conversation with someone else. No pushing, no shoving, no physical interaction occurred until Officer Lang initiated the physical action as seen in this video. You're terrible. Okay. Nah, it's, it's not stop. Hey, I'm not on the store location, bro. I'm making sure that they good. So from what we can basically gather from the video, right? There was a conversation that was taking place, right? And of course, we are in Minneapolis, right? And you have a young black man with a young white woman and for whatever reason right when the conversation was basically you know being had i guess in between the uh young black man and uh mr billups the cop decided to interject right himself into the situation and then wanting to put hands directly on the young black man this is when mr billups was telling the cop like hey you don't need to put your hands on him there's no reason for you to put your hands on him we were just talking nobody was fighting i didn't put my hands on him he didn't put his hands on me right and that's that's him trying to basically calm down the situation trying to let him know exactly what it is that cop didn't like that and that's when the video basically cut in and you saw him grab the 64 year old black man and he basically started you know tussling directly with him uh for the greater portion of the first uh part of the clip and you clearly hear the black man saying like what are you doing this for what is the reason right the cop didn't have a reason he escalated the situation because if two people were just having a conversation and that's all it was even if the voices might have been a little bit hype right it's still a conversation nobody's touching nobody's in a fighting stance nobody's threatening anybody else nobody's trying to fist the cuffs you know and all of that good stuff but yet the cop decided that this is something that he wanted to engage in for whatever reason like i said a lot of these cops out here they're bored they don't have nothing to do there's no action happening so when there's no action happening they're going to cause action to happen right so this was his workout for today this was his action this is something he can go back to the office and tell the boys like yeah i had a tussle you know with this old man you know first it was going to be this young guy but then you know the old guy you know he was really trying to get at me right trying to sit up there and hype himself up on a force trying to give himself a couple of brownie points trying to give a story to basically have to you know take home over the dinner table with his family 
something real exciting, riveting. When really, it was BS. At no point in time was there a need for that cop at all to put hands on an old man. It wasn't. Like I said, but this is what cops do. This is what police do. And you heard him at the end of the video. What did he say? When when Mr. Billups, he was like, yo, um, you don't you don't have the right to put your hands on me. And he was like, yes, I do. Yes, I can. You see how that works? You see what he's telling you? He's basically sitting up there saying, like, it don't matter what it is. I can sit up there and put my hands on you because I am the law. I am an oath officer. I'm a land overseer. Right? I'm imbued with these quote unquote man made God given rights that I can put my hands directly on you. Like I said, black people, they tell you exactly what it is. They're telling you exactly how it is that they see you at the end of the day. There is no, you know, interpretation to it. They're directly telling you. This video is directly showing you visually and vocally he can do whatever he wants to do because he's a cop even with all the other witnesses around even if we can even just go back to the um to the young couple right at one point in time it might be in the video but when everything was starting off you will see the young man's girlfriend actually step in front of him she steps in front of him do you know why that is? That's because she knows how America works. She knows how police work. She knows the fact that if nothing is in between the cop and her boyfriend, that the cop is going to go directly for him. But if she puts herself directly in front of her boyfriend, that cop is going to sit up there. He's going to second guess it because he see her there. AKA that's the reflection. He's not going to do something that would, in a sense, that he wouldn't want done to him when he looks at her. So he's going to back off, and she knows that. And that's exactly why she sat up there and did it, right? But then he was like, all right, I'm going to sit up there and switch my attention to the older black gentleman here. There's nothing, there's nothing blocking me from that. I'm going to sit up there and go after him. Like I said, people gotta, people better pay attention. People better see exactly what it is. Like I said, it, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist in order to, to see the problem that is here. It doesn't take one. But, you know, like I said, it is what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. And, and like every other black person has always stated, this is clear cut the reason why black people have issues with police this is why we don't want them anywhere near us our kids our families our homes our neighborhoods our communities because of stuff like this because of stuff like this now very easily that old man could have been injured with all of that tussling and all of that going on like he could have got injured he could have very easily got injured like I said, that cop looked like he was probably what, like mid, mid 20s, maybe close to 30. And this is how he's acting. Like I said, just imagine now, this is how he's he's acting in front of a crowd of people that got cameras. Just imagine how he would decide to act if there were no people around and there were no cameras. Just imagine the type of tall tale that he would weave in order to justify the use of force. Like I said, people better pay attention. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.